Yeah! L&T Defense highlights the swift development of India's new light tank, Project Zorawar, from conception to rollout in just 18 months. This rapid progress underscores L&T's expertise, aided by prior experience in manufacturing the K9 Vajra self-propelled howitzer. The Zorawar light tank addresses strategic needs amid tensions along the line of actual control with China. The Indian Army considers establishing a specialized unit, OP4, to simulate adversaries during military exercises. Pending final approval, the unit aims to provide a realistic portrayal of potential enemies, enhancing training realism. Comprising personnel from existing formations, the OP4 unit ensures soldiers encounter dynamic scenarios closely mirroring real-world conflicts, fostering preparedness and effectiveness. Godridge Aerospace achieves a milestone with a high-temperature brazing process vital for aero engine performance a first in India. This innovation boosts indigenous capabilities in the aerospace sector, reducing reliance on foreign technologies. The process seals crucial openings in turbine rotor blades, enhancing their durability in extreme environments, and signifies India's progress in advanced manufacturing. Airbus is set to demonstrate its A400M military transport aircraft at India's Tarang Shakti exercise. This move aims to win contracts with the Indian Air Force, particularly for the MTA program. The A400M's display alongside German Air Force jets presents an opportunity for Airbus to impress IAF officials despite potential cost challenges. The Indian Space Research Organization is gearing up for the first integrated air drop test, IADT, as part of the Gaganyaan mission. Scheduled at Sriharikota, this critical test will validate the parachute system and crew module's functionality, essential for safe astronaut return. The success of this milestone brings India closer to its inaugural human spaceflight, showcasing ISRO's commitment to space safety. The Indian Navy initiates operational deployment in the South China Sea, dispatching three warships, INS Delhi, INS Shakti and INS Kiltan, to Singapore. Amidst territorial disputes, India's presence signals solidarity with regional partners and aims to bolster maritime security. This move underscores India's commitment to safeguarding vital sea lanes and promoting stability in the Indo-Pacific region. Nine projects from DRDO's Electronics and Communication Systems ECS cluster were transferred to IIT Bhubaneswar, with seven more in the pipeline. These initiatives aim to advance electronics warfare, AI-driven surveillance and radar systems. The collaboration seeks to foster innovation, support Atmanir Burbharat, and elevate India's defense technology standards.